Welcome back to the Lumios Post. We talk about all things Pokemon. It is happening. Pokemon Legends Zeta is happening, and we are here to talk about everything you missed. And let's start with that, actually. Pokemon Legends Zeta does seem to possibly be the title of uh, this game. You know, it's a little difficult when, you know, a game is announced and they don't say the name, they just kind of show you the name, right? People were calling it Pokemon Legends ZA. Of course, some people were affectionately calling it Pokemon Legends ZA. Uh, but um, it seems that it is Pokemon Legends Zeta. The reason we know this is because uh, the Japanese site kind of gave a pronunciation of it, and it is Zeta. And that actually makes sense because that is the uh, the Greek alphabet letter, you know, Zeta. So uh, this makes a lot of sense when you think about it because also Mega Evolution, which will be returning these games, uh, has been featured in games that use the Greek alphabet before. You know, I'm thinking about Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which had the Delta episode in it. Uh, so yeah, it, it is also just kind of interesting, that connection. I wonder if they'll dive more into that into the games. But yeah, it seems that this is pronounced Pokemon Legend Zeta. Uh, that's how I'll be pronouncing it from now on. We'll see if that remains accurate, uh, but yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there because I, I do think that is kind of a neat note. Now, something else you may have missed about the title, and this actually, uh, shout out to Joe Merrick because he was the one where I learned this from. Uh, if you look in the dash in between the Z and the A, you will see a, uh, a little bit of red in one part and a little bit of blue in another part. Now, this is actually very, very interesting because it implies that, you know, this, well, it could imply two things. One is, could be Xerneas and Eveltal, you know, that, that does make sense. If you look at Pokemon Legends Arceus, those games were heavily focused around Dialga and Palkia, arguably more so than Arceus, so it would make sense that these games, which, you know, are set in Kalos, are going to focus on the main Kalos legendaries from Pokemon X and Y, Xerneas and Eveltal. Or, this could just be a reference to the fact that Zygarde's complete form does have elements of red and blue in it. So, it could be one, it could be the other, it could be both, I don't know. Just thought it was interesting that they did include the red and blue there. Another thing we want to talk about, about the title, and uh, trust me, we will get into the trailer stuff as well, a lot of cool things there, is that if you look at the Z, there are these hexagonal patterns, this is very uh, representative of Zygarde because you can see that all over its scales. And then if you look at the A, you can see these kind of, it looks like the veins on a leaf. Now, Zygarde doesn't really have this feature in it, so it is possible that this could be in reference to a new Pokemon that we're going to meet. You know, we do uh, have Legend Zeta is spelled with Z and A. The Z could represent Zygarde and the A might represent something else. So that is always possible. Just, just something to keep your eye out for. Now, let's move into that trailer. That trailer, obviously, there was no gameplay footage. There were a few things I was a little upset about, like we didn't get our starter lineup. I was, I was really excited to see that, but the trailer did, in fact, actually show us potentially a lot. So, first off, there's the fact that, you know, these games are supposedly going to be set in Lumio City entirely. The Nintendo of America said this exactly. They said entirely in Lumio City. Um, now, other areas said, like, it's set in Lumio City, but, or other uh, sources said that's set in Lumio City, like the Japanese Nintendo said that, but didn't really say entirely, so I don't know how much of that'll be true. Nintendo of America does have a history of kind of saying one thing, and it, it's only, like, loosely true, you know? So there is a chance that it's not entirely Lumio City, but I definitely would imagine it, it's probably entirely Lumio City, if not, uh, maybe a little bit more uh, than that, but not all of Kalos for sure. I do think that, you know, this is warrants its own discussion, so don't worry, a whole video on that is coming up. Just another reason you should like, subscribe. Uh, but the thing about this, it being set in Lumio City, is at first, if you're like me and you're a Pokemon player who hasn't played games like GTA or Spider-Man or anything like that, uh, you probably heard that and were like, ooh, that doesn't sound fun. But trust me, it, it will be. You know, it, the things that everybody are talking about is that it won't be the size of the 3DS version of Lumio City. Even the official account has said it's not going to look like the same Lumio City that you're familiar with. So, you know, that's, we don't have to worry about that. And even in this trailer, you can kind of tell that, right? Like, there are these bridges going over the canals in Lumio's. 
but then also you can see a girl like down below you know with a halucha and that kind of implies different levels which was previously not present in lumio city so it is going to be a massive overhaul a massive expansion so i don't think we have to worry about that now let's talk about that girl with the halucha that i just mentioned if you notice it looks like she's throwing something probably a Pokeball. Now, one thing that is absolutely beloved by fans of the original Legends game, Pokemon Legends Arceus, was that you were able to kind of just throw Pokeballs and mass catch things. I would say that this is a confirmation that this is returning. Uh, the other day we were actually discussing on my podcast, the Hidden Power podcast, we were talking about what could be like the defining trait of a legends game and i would say that's that's the gameplay it's that you can you know chuck pokeballs at everything and you know without battling them you have the option about them but you also can not if you want uh and this i would say is their way of confirming that that's back honestly it being a legends title would make me think that's back but regardless i would say the girl throwing something that looks like a pokeball was definitely their way of going hey look there, there's that thing from legends arceus that's still here uh, which is always great, right? Like, that, that was a lot of fun, and I definitely did miss that in Scarlet and Violet. Another thing that I did see in the trailer that I thought was interesting was it seems to be shot from a Pokemon's perspective for a lot of it. Like, first, you're kind of running with Pikachu, and you're kind of low to the ground the way Pikachu is. Uh, you then, um, when it kind of switches over to Sylveon, you're again, like, low to the ground like Sylveon. And with Talonflame, you're flying really fast like Talonflame and then getting a bird's eye view of the city. So this is an interesting detail because it implies that maybe there could be some shenanigans where you can kind of turn to a Pokemon for a little bit. We did see this detail in Scarlet and Violet in the Blueberry Academy. You can talk to this NPC and she will give you the Synchro Machine, which allows you to only in the Terrarium transform into your Pokemon basically. And the interesting thing about this is she does say, well, this is still a prototype. It is in its early stages. Like, she makes it clear this is not what a finished product looks like. Perhaps that's because Game Freak was letting us know this isn't the full thing of the Synchro Machine, and we will see the full version of the Synchro Machine in Pokemon Legend Zeta. So that's something interesting that I think we should talk about. Also, someone did point out that... Uh, you can see that the Pokemon are colored in while the people are grayed out, which, again, could be Game Freak kind of hinting at that. But, yeah, I, it's an interesting thought for sure. Another thing that's really interesting with the Pokemon that we see is when you see Sylveon battling Aegislash in the back, you can see a Crocodile surrounded by, like, four or five Sandile. Now, this is interesting because it's kind of looking like this is a wild family of Crocodile, similar to how you'll see in Scarlet and Violet a lot of Pokemon grouped together with, like, four or five little ones and then the evolved form with them as well so what's interesting about that is it's like okay that's a wild desert dwelling pokemon here in the city with its family and i think the reason that this is is because wild pokemon will be living in the city obviously if the game is indeed set entirely in lumios or honestly even mostly in lumios they're going to have this but it, to me it is interesting that like while it's believable that a gyarados and magikarp can be in the canals of lumios it's a little less believable that a crocodile could be walking around the city living its best life, you know? But when we get the bird's eye view of the uh, city, we do see that the plazas kind of look like, uh, specifically this top one, kind of looks like little biomes. So I think that might be a thing, that these plazas are turned into biomes. And I cannot find an image in there, so maybe I'm crazy, y'all can tell me. But I swear to you, in the original X and Y... One of the plazas, this person would say, like, oh, I can hear a wild Pokemon, but nothing was ever done with that. Yeah, I, I, maybe that was nothing. I doubt that that was a hint 12 years ago, but, or 12 years before this game will be releasing at least. But I do think that's interesting. I think that's really interesting, honestly. But regardless, these plazas do look like they're being turned into biomes. We do see this as the urban redevelopment plan. They're going to be making Lumio City uh, a bit more of a place for both people and Pokemon, their coexistence. So naturally, it makes sense that they would have some things that makes a Pokemon feel at home. Uh, a crocodile is not going to feel at home, you know, chilling outside the Louvre. He's going to want to have a little desert biome in there. And I think that's exactly what we'll see. The next thing I noticed in this trailer was with the Talonflame. Interestingly enough, this Talonflame de-evolves, which is just kind of weird. The Talonflame, when we first meet it, obviously it's a Talonflame. We soar under Onyx, and we see as it goes around the Prism Tower, it devolves into a Fletchender, and then when it comes at the camera, it is a Fletchling. 
that's a little weird. Uh, I don't think there'll be a devolving mechanic in this, uh, but, it, it, you know, that's a detail that clearly was meant to be there for a reason. Perhaps it could just be evidence of going back in time. You know, our, our player was essentially isekai and Legends Arceus and brought to the past from the future. Maybe we see a similar thing here. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about in the trailer, but then we do have some more things to talk about that I think maybe uh, might have been missed about this, is the Pokemon in the trailer. And I do have a cheat sheet here because I am going to straight up read this. Uh, but lots of different Pokemon are seen in the trailer. The full list, uh, according to Cerebi, is Go Goat, Furfrau, Flabebe, Pikachu, Sylveon, Clefki, Gyarados, Halucha, Ega Slash, Pyroar, Bellsprout, Heracross, Pinsir, Onix, Staryu, Dragonair, Emolga, Crocodile, Arbok, Meowstic, Absol, Hippopotas, Noivern, Ariados, Gardevoir, Skrelp, and Talonflame. Now, if you take all these Pokemon, and we assume that they are going to be in the uh, in the decks for this game, they wouldn't be in the trailer if they're not going to be in the decks, I would say, then that makes it when you include their lines, because like Sylveon was seen in the trailer, well, obviously that means Jolteon, Vaporeon, Flareon, Umbreon, all of them will be in it too. You know, Crocodile and Sandile were seen. Obviously, Crocorock will be there too. That would be 63 Pokemon. So that's that's pretty sizable. Uh, then when you add all of the other Kalos Mons, the ones that weren't seen in the trailer, but I'd assume they're going to be in the game just like all Gym 4 Pokemon were in uh, Legends Arceus, that would make it 110 Pokemon. When you add all the non-legendary Megas, because we do know Mega Evolution's returning, that would be 191 Pokemon, and then if you add the legendary Megas, Rayquaza, Latios, Latios, and Mewtwo, because if they leave any Megas out, I would imagine those are going to be their first picks, because they're going to have to have kind of some story relevance. Uh, that would be 195, and then if you add in the Primals as well, because again, it's not technically Mega Evolution, but it's similar, so I could see them tying it into it, or I could see them not. That would be 197. Now, Legends Arceus' dex, I believe, was around like 220 to 250. So, if they keep that up, then, you know, that's not many more Pokemon that will be in this game. So, I, I'm kind of tempted to say that not all the Mega Evolutions will be in this. But I really don't know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on that in the comments below. Uh, it still leaves room for about 50 and, and could be more Pokemon. So, maybe it's fine. But yeah, I, I did just want to throw that out. Now, there's only two more things that I want to talk about. The first is whether this is set in the past or the future. The urban redevelopment plan, uh, redeveloping Lumio City. So, Lumio City has already been developed. They're changing it. I think there's good arguments to say that this is both past or future, you know. Uh, there is a big Paris redevelopment thing that happened in the 1800s, I believe. So, if this is kind of based off that, well, obviously, that'd be in the past. But I guess my biggest counterpoint to this would actually be that if they're making the city more for people in Pokemon, it would feel weird to say that happened in the past, and then at some point between then and X and Y, they went, no, you know what, scrap this, screw the Pokemon, we're, we're just gonna do our own thing. That, I don't know, that's a little hard to believe. I, I don't, I don't know. Uh, then also there is the official uh, Japanese account did state, this looks different than the previous Lumio City, which, you know, previous does mean past, but they could just mean past as an R past because X and Y did come out in the past. You know what I mean? It, it may not actually mean past Kalos and this game set in the future, but I will say I've seen a lot of people say, well, it's a Legends game, so it has to be set in the past. We have one Legends game. We have one Legends game. That is hardly enough to say that there is a pattern Two isn't even a pattern. They say two's a coincidence, three's a pattern. So I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's guaranteed the past. I I don't know what I think. I'm 50-50 on it. I hope it's the past, if I'm honest. I like the past more than I do the future. Um but I could see it being the future. Uh you know there were those were some pretty futuristic blueprints, and Lumio City does look very large and you know I I just don't see why the city would get worse over time rather than get better, but we'll see what happens. I'm really excited to see what happens. Now, the last thing I want to touch on is from the trailer, but not from this trailer. This actually comes from uh, the trailer that was revealed at Worlds 2023 last year in Yokohama when they unveiled the Blueberry Academy's uh, starter Pokemon, like that they would be in the game. The first shot opened with a shot of Cinequil and Torchic running by it. 
then Rowlett and Snivy, and then Oshawa and Piplup. And now maybe that wasn't the exact order, but it was back-to-back -back shots. The interesting thing about this is, as you can see, uh, our Legends Arceus starters were Oshawa, Rowlett, and Cinequil. So there is some speculation that perhaps we could see those other Pokemon with them as the starters in this game, which would mean that since Oshawott was with Piplup, the water starter would be Piplup. Uh, since Snivy was with Rowlet, Snivy would be the grass starter. And since Cinequil was with Torchic, Torchic would be the fire starter. This is really interesting. I'm not going to lie. That's that's pretty big because also these Pokemon have a lot of relevance to France in the real world. Uh, so first off, Piplup, it's Evolution and Polion, in case you didn't hear it in the name. It's partly based on Napoleon, Napoleon Bonaparte, the, like, one of the former rulers of France, so come on now. Uh, then we have Snivy, the superior line, they're even depicted on the Parfum Palace gates, but also the superior line is kind of based off, like, French royalty, French regalty, so that makes sense as well. And then Torchic seems like the oddball, right? But actually, the rooster is the national uh, animal of France, which some people even believe is why, back in X and Y, uh, Blaziken was given a Mega Evolution when Sceptile and Swampert weren't given one until Oris. And, you know, it, it even was kind of important in the anime as well. So it, it is interesting. It's very interesting. I don't think we can rule that out. Would they hint at this in a trailer? I don't know. They've never done it before. But guess what? We just got Pokemon Legend Zeta announced. I didn't think that was going to happen either. So I don't I don't feel like I can judge what the Pokemon company will and won't do, which I guess is my last thing that you might have missed. The Pokemon company is crazy and will do whatever and we can't predict anything. So there you have it, guys. Be sure to let me know what you think of this. Uh, what all did you catch in the trailer? What do you... Uh, you know, think is also important that maybe I didn't touch on in this video. Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. If you guys think I'm done talking about Pokemon Legends, that's a, I ain't even begun. I have so much stuff on it. I'm so excited. You should be excited too. Like, subscribe, hit that bell so you don't miss it. And until next time, I will see all of you later.